Okay, I did a little video about this hatch, this early hatch for a 61 on Friday, saying I was going to work on it. Let me tell you, it has been a nightmare ever since then. Used to be my most unfavorite thing on an E-Type was messing around with the doors, but this is my new least favorite thing. Um, to be honest, I've never messed around with one of these before because over here in the U.S., if your hatch is bad, which actually doesn't happen that often, you can get some rust at the bottom, you just get another one because the hatches are the same for all the uh, 2 plus 2s and the coupes, series 1, 2, 3, but uh, actually 3s are a little different. They got that vent and all that, but for the most part, they're the same. Um, but these 61 hatches are special. And so what I ended up doing, come on over here, I had said I was going to cut this here, here, and here, but there was some rust starting to build up here in this lip, so I ended up cutting it over here. Took this piece out, cleaned this all up and red oxided it in there, turned this around, blasted it, and red oxided it in here, but I had to do a lot more hammer and dolly work than I thought, and then, in addition, I figured out why they switched away from this design. So if you look here, you see how this is a flush thing here and there's a caged plate under here and it's, it was flush for the uh, bracket. This just wiggled and tore out of there and just hang, hold that thought. Let me, let me go over here and grab these other two hatches. This is the other 61 hatch that we have in the shop. This belongs to a customer car. But if you look at this, you see how this is all pulled up? There's just nothing back here to support this. These little spot welds are for the cage that holds that plate. And it's just really flimsy. And so I'm assuming that is why they eventually decided this isn't going to work. And they recessed it. And you can see by recessing it, you're putting a step in there that makes it a lot stronger. And then they also staggered the bolt holes. So the bolt holes aren't in a line that are just rocking. You're getting a little more strength that way. Although, strangely enough, somebody just sent me an email and said theirs had cracked around there. But you can see this is a real weak point on these early hatches. And so what I did do is you can see these spot welds. I cut and shaped a piece of 16 gauge and spot welded it in there. And then I put the plate and the cage back on to give this a little more strength. Um, it's going on a race car, so it's probably not gonna get open and closed that much. But I just, I couldn't have this apart and not fix that. So there is a seam right here. There's a seam up here on these two. I did a great job just in bare metal. You can't even tell that was ever cut and welded. Come over here and get a close up. Look at that. I'm pretty proud of that. Now, unfortunately down here, I got into a little trouble and I probably should have taken the whole skin off and taken the inside piece off as a unit and not sectioned it while they were together, but I didn't want to drill out all these spot welds. But if I had to do it again, I probably would do it that way. And then these holes here, all these little quarter inch holes, these, these are drains, but these, all the rest of these holes are for these crazy clips. This is the original piece for this. See, it's got these clips that get pressed in there. So they're factory, but someone had gone through and put screws all in here to hold this thing down. And I welded all those up because since this is going on a race car, um, I figure there's not going to be a whole bunch of interior stuff. This is just going to get painted as is. Now, in addition, over here, there were some problems with the skin. I hammered and dollied that out. I didn't go crazy on that because it's going to need a little bit of filler on it anyway. And then I fitted it to a 61 shell that we have over there. So the moral of this story is don't try this at home. I have got over 12 hours in this repair, and those were hardcore, getting right down to it hours. So that is what we are, I, well, it's what I've been working on most of the weekend. Since the compressor kicked in, which I meant to turn off before we started filming this, I'm going to say goodbye, but 
here is the hatch. It's done and it is destined for Le Mans. 